Let's learn how to download some fonts. Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey, I also call myself Dinosaur Mama, and today we are doing a very quick tutorial on how to download free fonts from the internet. If you are new here, then welcome. I am a Cricut crafter, all around crafter, I guess you could say. And today I just wanna focus on how to download fonts. And if you're looking for free fonts, you can find them in the blog post link below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I bring you new craft projects every single week, as well as crafting tips and tricks. Let's get started downloading some fonts. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using defont.com. So Defont has a lot of fonts. You can see over here, they have 83,000 fonts to download. I do have a blog post listed below in the description that will lead you to 10 websites where you can download free fonts, both personal and commercial use. So make sure you're always checking the licensing with your fonts. For example, this first one, Snow Times, is free for personal use. So you have to be making sure, like if we click on this, it doesn't say over here, right? Um, when we go to cam camera obscura, um, right here it says, this demo font is for personal use, no commercial use allowed. If you want to purchase the font for commercial use, you can. So make sure you're always checking that. And what that can mean is that you're not allowed to make something on your Cricut, like a t-shirt, a mug, and then sell it for profit unless you buy that font. So make sure you're keeping all of that in mind. Um, all right, so if we go back to the main page, here is defont.com. They have over 80,000 fonts to download. And again, you can find more websites down in the description, but they have everything listed from fancy, cartoon, stencil. You can also search for things that are trademark. So not like Spider-Man is one that I searched for because my son's birthday party was Spider-Man themed. And I ended up downloading this last one, The Amazing Spider-Man. Now again, this is for personal use. When it comes to trademark, I don't wanna get into it and argue. Obviously, some people download and then use it to create things to sell. I did not, I made it for my son's birthday and used this font. It also comes with these different glyphs, which I will have to make a separate video on how to use those in your Cricut designs, because there are different ways to get those into your designs. However, if you want to download a font, right? So if we went to new fonts, you are going to find one that you like. So I'm gonna search through. I don't like using a lot of these ones on my Cricut unless I'm doing like a print and cut because you're gonna be weeding all these little holes. But right now I'm really big into like retro fonts. So if we go up to the top, you can search retro, right? And here we have all these different retro fonts. So I really like this retro type one, um, or you can go down more. This retro cool is perfect. So if you want to see how your text is going to look before you download it, you can always type in what you want it to say. Hit submit, and then scroll down to the font you wanted to download. And it's going to show you all of those different fonts. So I liked the one that was retro cool which now I have lost, I guess. So I really liked this font, the retro cool. I typed it in because my computer went out for a second. And now we are going to download the font because I really like the way this one looked. So you'll hit download. And now it's here in my downloads. I am using a MacBook Air and I'm using Google Chrome. This might be different a little bit, step by step on how to open them but this is how I do it every single time when I'm downloading a font, whether it's from Defont or from Creative Fabrica or wherever. So here I have my zip file and I'm going to open it. See, it's opening. So here it is in my downloads. It's still in here as a zip file, but it's also in here. This is the README. It's probably going to give you your commercial use. So here you go, installing the font, personal use only, no commercial use allowed, okay? So if you want commercial use, they give you the website for that to buy it. Here is the preview, right? A bunch of different previews on how to use the font. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to download either the OTF or the TTF. So one's a true type font and one is an open type font. I usually just do the TTF 
Once I let it download, it, this is my font book. I have my font book actually always open on the bottom bar of my computer. And you're going to hit install. Once you have it, this is another font that I download, the Skylar. Hit install, you can go back, all fonts, and now I'm gonna search for it. It was called Retro Cool. And now you see it is downloaded into my font book. So here I'm just scrolling through, this is the entire font. And if you scroll down, you might see some special characters that you can use. So this font is pretty simple. It doesn't have any like real extra characters. Um, it has some, like these are pretty cool. So like if I wanted to do my name, I could do K-E. Um, but we just close out of this and now we will go over to Cricut. Now I had Cricut opened while I was downloading the font. So if I go to new project and I go to text, your fonts are gonna be under your system fonts. But if I go to search for retro cool, nothing is gonna pop up. So if you're working on a project, you're gonna to wanna to save your project first, but you're gonna to wanna to close out of Cricut completely, quit, and then reopen Cricut Design Space. This is gonna really be for any sort of program you're using and downloading fonts. So Inkscape, Silhouette, Cricut Design Space. It's not just gonna automatically load, it's gonna make you close out of the program. So now I closed out, I came back in. I'm gonna go into my system. We're gonna search for Retro Cool. And there it is. I clicked on it, there's the text. And then I can put my name in again, and here it is. And now my Cricut will cut this. So I'll have to do a separate video on how to use those glyphs. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. It's actually a l pretty easy, I think. I'm using a Mac, I do it a certain way. It doesn't take me that long. Um, so I will be following up with that. But this is how you download all of your fonts into Cricut or any different software that you want to use. I love downloading free fonts. I have a lot of them. I probably should go through and really try to categorize them or make myself some sort of cheat sheet. Um, but yeah, that is the process for downloading fonts into Cricut. Thank you so much for joining me today as we downloaded fonts from Defont. And you can use this technique to download fonts from any of those websites that you find in the blog post below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe to my channel so that you can continue to craft with me and share this with one of your crafty friends if you think they need to learn how to download some fonts. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.